You might have seen earlier this year this great article from GigaOM featuring Sysense interactive mapping capabilities. Here showing FEMA data using Sysense. Now the good news is you can do that today by downloading Sysense and uh, reading the simple entry put together on how to turn Pivot into a world map. I'm going to take you through the steps in just three minutes. First step of course is we need to go out and get some data. So I went to Social Baker here and got some data about Facebook statistics by country. They've got some great data on uh, countries in a table. Great, but I want to see this in a more interactive fashion through a world map. So I dumped that data into a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet here, brought in that data into my ElasticCube without really coding or scripting anything. I just used the access API we have for Google spreadsheets and then brought the data inside the ElasticCube. Once the data is in the ElasticCube, I can now play with it using BI Studio. You can see I created a very simple pivot here with countries and measures, percentage penetration. I also played with the coloring a little bit. You know, I don't have to think about the color panel here. Basically, what I did is I said, okay, I like the Facebook logo colors. So I'm going to use that in my conditional format. I'm going to pick from the screen and say, okay, well, for this value, go ahead and use that, which now is going to be available straight into my pivot. Great functionality that I love in a BI Studio. So let's publish this to the web. What this essentially does, as you can see, just with a few clicks, I'm turning this report here into an HTML5 view of the data, which is great because now anybody can view the data inside the browser, mobile devices, and so forth. So you can see this now is a pivot still, and I'm gonna make just a few changes to it in order to turn it into an interactive map. First thing I'm gonna do is turn this value from false to true. Then secondly, what you'll be required to do is download a JavaScript file in order to make all this work, but uh, nothing to worry about here because we have all the information in this entry. But once you've done that, You'll also just simply copy and paste this little entry here. And you can just uh, simply put it here to here. This line 32 for me might be different for yours. And once I'm done with that, I can go back to my report, hit the refresh button, and there you go. Fully interactive map working off of the data that I had earlier. You can do this by yourself. Just go to sysense.com and get started today. I hope this was useful. Talk to you soon.